Hello Capricorn! This is going to be your three card reading for June 2018. I hope last month's reading helped you. And uh, if it did, I hope you subscribe and give us a like and a share. And um, if you need a more personal reading, then I'll let you know how to reach me after. But uh, let's look at your three cards for June. So, first we're just going to burn some sage. Just imagine that this sage smoke is all wafting all around you, cleansing you, cleansing your whole aura here. And we also cleanse the cards. So, just shuffling for you now three cards for June, Capricorn for June, Capricorn for June. And cut, here we go. Here's your three cards. First one, the Ten of Swords. Second, the King of Wands. And the third, Lust or the Strength card. All right, this is an interesting, interesting time then, interesting month. Ten of Swords uh, on this deck uh, the code word on the Toth deck says ruin. That's very dramatic. Um, basically what it means is something has come to, to a head. It's come to an end. It's, you can't, you're, you're so exhausted of something. You just can't give it any more energy. Uh, either a relationship or a work or a situation you're in, uh, with a group dynamic. It could just be inner, of course. It doesn't have to relate to others, but um, the Ten of Swords, you know, usually we have tried everything in our power to analyze and understand and think it through, and it's just, um, it's sort of the saturation point of the mind. The Ten of Swords is the last card of the Swords. The Swords are all about the intellect and the mind. So what it means is it's somebody who's passed through all these stages of just being in your head, thinking, thinking, trying to talk about it, analyze it, figure, figure. And it leads you basically to the, to the realization that you can't solve everything just in the mind alone. Not everything is just all logic. So this is interesting because then the King of Wands means you're, it talks about your personal will. It could be a person, uh, you know, a man, or it could be a woman, but it's a really powerful, you know, person. Very dynamic, lots of energy, uh, lots of creativity, could be a bit dominant, um, could really be a, uh, somebody who is a mover and shaker, gets a lot done. Or it could simply represent your own personal will. So if you've been feeling low on your desire, your drive to do things, to get things done. Um, you have to find a way to get out of your head and into your heart, uh, into your gut. Stop thinking about everything so much, trying to plan it, micromanage it, and get into the gut of it and find what you feel driven and pulled to do. Where, what, what part of the solution or action do you want to take right now? What gives you that feeling of like, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's the action I'm going to take. You got to move from air to fire, air to fire. And then interestingly, you have the card of strength or lust at the end. And that is an enormously creative and ominous kind of card in a good way. It's a number 11 in this deck, so it means it's starting the higher vibration of an 11, a master number. Um, in this deck, it's not a woman controlling the li a lion, which you see in most other decks. It's a woman riding the lion. So this is somebody who is at one with nature, at one with her passion. And she's just out there fulfilling what she wants to do. So Capricorn, this month you have to get out of your head and do whatever that takes and into action and into your passion and not worry about 
what anybody else says, thinks, does. Not worry about whether they're on board. Stop talking about it. Stop trying to, you know, lobby them or explain or I don't know, whatever you're doing where it's all, your, your thoughts are spinning. You have to get out of your head and into just doing. So a lot less talking, more doing, you know? And uh, overall, these cards show a buildup of fire and passion and creativity. You might really feel like you've, um, at first, you've let go of something. You might feel a bit down. And then you're, it's like your passion just comes back like a, like a wildfire. So overall, I'd say that's a really good month, even if it starts off with a bit of a, a recognition that you've got to stop doing what you're doing. Uh, it, it turns around for the much better. Wonderful. So, if you need a longer personal reading, you can reach me under this video, wherever you've seen it, or river-rain.com. You'll find all my info there, or Clairvoyant Medium, Catherine Allen, on Facebook. Alright, have a good month.